Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury channel. And today I want to bring a new series of programs to my channel. And I want to gear up to be bringing quality wristwatch content back for the viewers. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about making videos, a new series, Talking Hands, Talking Hands. And I got this idea originally. There was a great channel on YouTube which was had a similar concept where they sat down together, two friends sit down, and they'd talk wristwatches. And I thought, you know, that has got something to it. Forget the ego, forget the, uh, you know, the visuals on the speakers. Let's concentrate on the wristwatches they're discussing. So I had a good friend, Scott, came over today. And we've actually prepared some series in this uh, introductory series. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Archie Luxury, Talking Hands. And um, let me know what you think. Does it have legs? Does it have legs? Uh, let me know. So, um, let's see what you think. And uh, if you're in the Brisbane area... Maybe I could sit down and film you and we could talk watches with yourself. Talking hands, Archie Luxury style. Take a look. Tell me what you think. So, Scotty, here we are. Talking hands, Archie Luxury program. This is a new idea to, um, to just, just be casual, casual, casual. We're doing this in our own own way so um um now scotty we've got to um we got to get the iced coffee you like iced chocolate don't you uh yes yeah iced chocolate iced yeah. chocolate we we'll get some drinks happening and we're going to chat watches um ooh, we got we got we got we got a few topics we, look let's let's talk about the um let's talk about two of my favorite watches here which is the the um the batman the Batman mm -hmm. and the um, Explorer Two, the Explorer Two, the Polar, the Polar Explorer Two. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you think. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Let's get some iced coffee happening. Yes, beautiful pieces. Um, relax, relax, relax. You, let's uh, have a nice. Let's have some chocolate. Yeah. I like to shake this up a bit. Do you mind if I shake? Yeah, it? yeah. You give it a bit of a shake because you want the the mix. Yeah, mix this it is up, so yeah. bad. For me, I'm on the Archie Luxury weight loss diet, and uh, some nice chocolate milk, chocolate milk, fuckers. Donuts ready to go as well. Donuts ready to go. There, beautiful. What more could you want in life, hey? Now, Scotty, what do you think? What do you think? Just be relaxed and be casual. There's no mm. need to worry. We can edit <laughs> anything out. You know my channel. I can edit yeah. it out if we don't like it. Um. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Talking Hands, Archie Luxury, the Polar and the GMT. The Polar and the Batman. Yes, do you think you could have both a uh, Explorer 2 plus a GMT I think you could. Master in a, in a collection? Ooh, what a superb collection. Or is it too redundant? Nothing is redundant. Scotty, when it's your money... You can have whatever you want. You can just collect GMTs. You could just, you got to buy what you like. I got to tell you honestly, mm -hmm. I really do love the Polar Explorer 2. But if you were to say to me, hey, Arch, how about a straight swap? You'd probably do it. I'd probably do it, Scotty, but uh, uh, that'd be financial suicide because let's, let's look at the numbers. On my behalf. This yeah. is the GMT Batman. What's that in Aussie dollars? Uh, 11, 11 two, 11 two, I think is the uh, retail price. 11 two. And uh, the most you'd get a minty, this is a solid end link one, probably seven. Seven Oz, yeah, yeah. Seven Oz. This is because it's got the, the no holes, solid end links. So it, it's, it's, you know, <clears throat> I, I got to tell you. Have you ever had a black? Yes, I, I, owned too, a, yes. I owned a black one many years ago. I loved it. I loved it. Actually, the black is cool. The mm -hmm. black is fucking cool. I got a, it's got a different feel to it. 
But um, I, I got to tell you, I really fucking love that GMT. You mm. love it, don't you? Yes, yes, I love it. Yeah, it's because uh... the thing about you, Scotty, is is that you you've got an interesting history. Before you had the, uh, that's why I brought this. This DC, DC out. that was my first. That was Rolex, yours, yes, wasn't it? Yes. That was yours. That's right. And uh, it wasn't this exact one. No. But it was you. You had one of these. Mm. And um, what made you get rid of your deep sea for you? Because I said you were mad. I said mm. don't do it. I remember I said to you, yes. don't do it, because you had to chip in a bit of money, didn't you? Um, well, whenever you're going to a dealer, they got to make some margin. Don't yes, you? So I had you, to you add. Know. Um, a couple of thousand, but then when I left the country, got my tax back. Well, let's not talk oh, about that. Okay. You know, but overall, but... look, I might have been out of pocket by about 600 bucks or something like that at the end of the day. Yeah. But, but uh, I mean, Scotty, Do what... I be honest with you? Yeah. Me, tell, tell me. Tell, tell, wanna... Yeah. T -t tell me honestly, please. Look, don't, don't hold back. You're just friends here. Yeah. The yeah. ratings are in the toilet, Scotty. <laughs> I might just add a bit of elixir to the, the milk. Yeah. Put that in. A little bit of a drop, just to give it a bit of kick. Yeah, it's a great watch. Um, geez, the depth rating is is amazing. I think uh, it's four thousand meters. Is that? Um, I thought it was thirty nine hundred meters. Is but thirty nine, and we're rounding it up there to four thousand. No, let's have a look there. Which is uh, have to get the mine. depth of the uh, Titanic. Oh, is that right? If you uh, shit, we could go down and see the. If Titanic. you ever want to go uh, diving down there, <laughs> scuba diving down the Titanic, yeah. Oh, three nine, three thousand nine hundred. Yeah, yeah, and I think the Titanic is is about three thousand eight hundred and something meters. So <clears throat> what made you get out of it? Bit. Can I ask Look, you that? I just wanted a. I like wearing it, but then as time went by, I just <coughs> said, "Look, I want an everyday, an everyday watch." That I can wear every day. I just thought the deep sea just felt maybe a little bit top heavy, perhaps. Mm. Um, and just something lighter. I just wanted something lighter, I suppose. And yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. The deep sea was so you you essentially. I just thought maybe yeah, just a bit on the. It's an interesting story. You went into the shop originally to buy an Explorer One. Yes, when when I bought the Explorer One, I said, "Yep, that's what I." Because I fell in love with it. That, that was, was the the thirty nine mil. Yeah, first Rolex I ever fell in love with. Um, As you were paying it off, I was you had paying a... it off. I decide, oh look, this is too. Uh, this Did is they too give you a discount? The they give you a discount? Not really. No, no discounts. That was Bluetooth. Langford's, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, but. Um, yeah, so I fell in love with you the uh, love. with the Explorer, and then yeah, I thought it was a bit too small for my wrist, so I thought, gee, what what other model oh, do I go for? So I went sea. for the the deep sea. And did you loved it? Didn't you for a while? Yeah, I did. I did for a couple of years. And buyer's then, remorse? No, there was no buyer's remorse. No, I just thought, look, I just want to switch it to maybe just a a small amount to the to a forty mil size, yep. either sub or sea dweller or. Or the GMT. Yes. And I just thought the blue black combination Yeah. On the bezel just really um popped. Yeah, I thought it was really nice. I, I, I gotta say, yeah, I nice um I, I it it I it takes me a while to get used to a uh to how they do things. And uh what actually happened is that I I, I didn't like the ceramic. I really hated it and I was very anti ceramic. Mm. But I got to tell you, when I um, when I because uh, I took this back for you because you had some personal issues, mm. I fucking loved it. I thought, gee, this is beautiful. Mm. I I really like the maxi dial. Now that I'm going blind, mm. as we age, you, your eyesight's still good, isn't it? Yeah, mine's okay. Yeah, yeah it'll go downhill. Yeah. The maxi dial is fucking nice, and I I got to say, I I like the way they have done. The crown guards, like they've beefed them up a bit. Mm. You, you, you see what I mean? Yes. They've, they've beefed them up. And. Were well, you upset at first when the 42mm Explorer 2 came in? I, I thought it was too big. 
I thought it was too big, but I, I got to be honest with you, I think it might be a... Uh, warmed up to it. I fucking warmed up to it. Yes. I've really warmed up to it. Would you appreciate a downsize, in fact, a 40 mil, if they did that? <sighs> I don't think they will, because the 42 mil is not too ridiculous. They've gone back on the on the Sea Dweller Deep Sea. You know, they've gone to the 30, 43 mil. 43 mm. mil. Sorry, not 30. 43 mil. Because I, I think that maybe is a little bit too big. But that's, but, the deep, that's the deep sea. They've upsized the sea dweller. Yes. So yes. that's still, I guess that's still in, uh, they're still making the, the deep seas. They're not discontinuing that model. They are a bit soft. Mm -hmm. They are a bit soft. With the sea dweller coming out, the deep seas have gone. The James Cameron is still talking to a, uh, a watch enthusiast this morning. He said the deep, the Cameron, James Cameron is still very popular. Okay. But I, I reckon... If I was buying one, I'd probably go. I like the black dial. The, uh, the James Cameron never really fucking impressed me. No, just keep with the uh, with the regular, with the standard, I think. The standard model. Yeah. Now, the, the interesting thing is, what do I think of the uh, Explorer 2? I think, to be honest with you... Like, the, if they brought out a 40mm Explorer 2, maxi case, maxi dial. Look... So, I, same size case. I, I tell you what's wrong. GM2. I tell you what's wrong with this, this Explorer 2, as you said, the bracelet is nowhere near as good. I mean, th th this bracelet on the GMT mm. is just magic. You've got that, you've got those, those. you've got the micro adjustments you can do as well. It's got an you? easy link here. You know, the, it, it is a really fucking good bracelet. The, even though this is the, the solid end link, mm. you can tell it's solid because it's got that raised, that raised, Bar, you know, that, that raised link mm -hmm. there. See, it, it's raised. But it's still very rattly. It's not mm. a... It's not a... I think it's... As bracelets have gotten better, you could really... You can you can say it's not as not as nice. Scotty, the maxi dial is cool. Maxi's cool. Mm -hmm. Maxi dial's cool. Um, it's, it's, it's... I love the case. I think this is fucking perfect. Out of all the ceramics, I think this is the best. Mm. Would you love it if they did that, though, with the Explorer 2? Uh, I don't mind it at 42. I think it's okay. It's good to have some differentiation. Okay. Because okay. I, I, the th big thing was, what's the difference between an Explorer 2 and a GMT? I, I thought it's good. I, I actually like it at 42. I think it's actually quite reasonable. Mm-hmm. Um, to answer your question, I reckon you could have, if you were a newish collector, if you wanted new stuff, you could have a ceramic Batman and a Explorer 42, to, you, oh. quite, quite in the collection quite well, because mm. they're differentiated there, you know, mm. but, uh, I, I love it. I, I think that's cool. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.